Hello, sassy friends. How you guys doing? Oh, I don't know. Could I ever start a video and not be picking bunny fibers up? my fingers I don't think I can okay so we're all prepped and ready to go so this is the one we put together you guys where we've got these pink glittery zebra the J'adore Glamour French tips J'adore Glamour and fancy pants now originally I had called this pink zebra but don't you think it's better to call it mmm Fancy zebra pants or zebras in pants. I don't know. All of them are better than pink zebra, I've decided. There's that. Okay, so when I opened this, you guys, eh, it was looking rough. Like, let me show you. I've got two packs of it. They've definitely been melted and seen better days. Um, one sec here. I gotta get my little French tip cutter. Uh, but they're from 2011, so you know you can only expect so much because not everybody understands how to take care of them, you know? So first, let's do our pinky. This should really be like a fairly fast, uh, a fairly fast Manny. It's just using a few components. I'm assuming um, our biggest struggle is going to be the zebra accent. So it is, today is um, Friday. Yay, it's Friday, Friday. Uh, let's see, a lot's been going on, you guys. Uh, my blueberry nails... wore beautifully hey other stuff fell out of there that's funny not surprising but funny um my blueberry nails held up beautifully all week so that was good and um the only thing was is there was a lot of the nails were a single layer of strip and Willow and I have been working in the house like crazy actually if you're if I'm friends with you on Facebook you're you're getting to keep up on it whether you want to or not because I keep posting um, videos and pictures of stuff so oh the kitchen is so close to done you guys the backsplash came today um, Willow and I ran out to the, one of the nurseries that we really like. And last year we picked up an Estilby for um, a real shady, oh, uh, let's see. So we have this, uh, well, if you keep up on the revamp in my garden and yard videos, which there's only been one of those so far, but there'll be another one probably tomorrow because Willow and I will be working out there tomorrow um but in the front yard there is this really cute little well not little it's tall but a fence that blocks the you know blocks people driving by from seeing right back into the backyard where the clothesline and deck and stuff is um hang on a sec But that fence is tall. It is a good, probably eight foot. Oh, those are lovely. You know there's a not a lot better than some beautiful black tips. Okay, and over our black tips, we're using these fancy pants to tie in the pink glitter. And um, I'm going to... I 
like, listen, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what kind of nail, but if I was going to use clear as day, I will swap it out <laughs> for some kind of fun overlay instead if I can. That is just, it's just how I got to be, you guys. It's just, for me, always better. I also feel like these glitter overlays and, like, the black printed design overlays feel thinner than Clear as Day. Clear as Day feels very thick to me, you guys. It just does. So, anyway. Ooh, don't bend it, because I want to use that other part. Oh, my goodness. So, um... Tomorrow we're working in the front yard, which I haven't done a video of yet. And when I'm telling you guys this, like right now, you're going to end up seeing the video before you even hear me telling you this. But either way. Okay, let's do the... Let's do the pointer real quick. Because that's where I'm using the other half of that second smallest pinky. And it does help if you cut off a bit of that cardboard at least for this style um punch that I use you guys this is a we are memory keepers and I think I got this one at Goodwill and it's just like a half circle but I find it easier to line things up and get them straight With the bottom being flat, you know, it's easier for my eye to get it right. Well, most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, you guys. And then I'm just cutting that little baby in half. I'm trying not to lose sight of where the other one flies. Okay, so anyway, tomorrow we are. Last year was our first summer here. So we left everything as it was, because we had no idea uh, what was going to come up anywhere. Now we know this is our second summer here. And so one of the things the lady apparently had a love for was tiger lilies. They're everywhere. But if you have a cat and you probably already know that they're super toxic to cats. Well, one of Willow and Tartar's favorite um, things to do is for him to get on his little body harness and leash and take a walk uh, through the trails in our on our property. There's little they had made, well I believe they'd made them as four wheeling trails and stuff, ATV trails but we just walk on them and Tartar loves it you know, sniffing at everything and he loves it, but this year, A, he can't go out because bird flu is crazy, crazy bonkers, and getting mammals sick and stuff now, and it's very bad in Minnesota. I don't know how it is where you're from, but it's very bad in Minnesota. Um, and also, we want to narrow down these tiger lilies because even if they get the pollen on them, and groom it off it can cause kidney failure super fast and I mean when I say we have an excessive amount of tiger lilies I'm not kidding just in the front yard alone I'll probably pull up like 200 of them and I know just pulling up that you know 200 of them this year is not going to take care of them it's going to be kind of an ongoing battle for me for a few years I'm sure but it's okay because if I get them right now they are um, you know really lush and like anywhere from 8 inches to a foot tall and they will be much easier to get up plus we've had an endless supply of rain the last couple weeks so that will help a ton because they'll just be easier to and then a couple couple nail friends are local and they're gonna come out and get some from me so that's awesome because I do hate 
you know, like just getting rid of things to get rid of things situation, you know? So, I mean, and I am not getting rid of those tiger lilies like, oh, I don't like the look of tiger lilies. I'm getting rid of them because if Tartar gets into something, even, you know, Dathan working in the yard and walks by the tiger lilies and gets pollen on him and it gets on Tartar, like, you know, worst case scenario, I don't want it to happen. That's all. It would be a bad environment here if something happens to him. Oh my god. Let's not talk about it. Um, so we're just clearing him up. That's all. We're clearing him up. And, you know, at least, um, in the places where he likes to investigate when he's outside, like, where my peonies are. <laughs> there is a little, I mean, I don't even know what hole. A mole hole, maybe. A rabbit hole. Who knows? There's this perfect little hole. And he just loves to stick his whole arm in it, you guys. It's very cute. And he yells down it. It could be the chipmunk's hole, actually. It could be Chip Chip's hole. And we have more than one chipmunk, you guys, running around. But we call them all Chip Chip. They're all one in my head. Because they're very cute. Okay, so these strips have had better days. So I took out three, even though I'm only planning on using it on one finger. But I know that, you know, it's going to be a battle. I wish it wasn't such a battle. I'm wondering if it would work just to... Pull it off like this. Okay, this is an experiment. Pulled it off on the plastic. And then, oh, it's so, it's so pretty. And that is why I'm willing to wrestle with it. <laughs> Because it is so pretty. But I do have like a bunch of packs of this, you guys. I have like um, five or six packs of it because I do really like it. So I don't mind fighting it a little. And then what I'm going to try to do basically is break the strip along the back. I can with my tweezer. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Get rid of that guy. And then my thought is... Oh! <laughs> you guys, I cannot believe that you just get to sit here and watch me be brilliant like this for free. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, that was a lot of stress, you guys. Okay. Holy buckets. We got one down. Take one down. Pass it around. Okay. But I actually want two layers of it on each finger. And I will have to feel it because it has um, in its time of aging it is pretty, pretty thin. It's still super, like, uh, fresh and sticky. That part is not a problem. But it does seem like it is thinned a good bit. You see how see-through that is? So, you do want at least two layers on it. <clears throat> and I might even wind up putting a fancy pansy over it just to be extra safe because oh that was my whole point you guys working in the front yard I wanted more than one layer of nail on my nails because even with you know even with gloves on it's, it's hard on your nails you guys Okay, now pull that bit forward. 
there we go. Guys, come on. It just was like, these are really, really in good shape for being 12 years old. Oh, I love those. I really do love them. Okay, let me see if I can clean some of this ruckus I got going under my nails. Oop. There we go. Well, look at me. Look at me. Made it happen. And you can definitely tell they're a bit sheer because I can see some of the other zebra lines through it, but I'm totally good with it. And this right here is rocking my face and blowing my mind. It's is beautiful okay so now I know I'll be able to use that set it's just gonna take all my best patience okay let's go middle finger so our goal for tomorrow is there is this flower bed in the front that whatever she planted there obviously had some limitations on how many years it was gonna flower so I don't know tulips maybe I don't know there's a lot of stuff that doesn't you know produce forever um I cut that crooked give me a sec here anyway so all it grows well I'm just going to keep getting it more crooked. So let's just do this. Um, it grows all this greenery in. Not even like decorative greenery. It makes you think that there's going to be a bucket load of flowers there. And it's nothing but a not even nice greenery. <laughs> so Willow's job tomorrow is pulling those up while they're all like four to six inches tall and we've had a ton of rain so they should be easy to pull up I was gonna throw down a bunch of zinnia seeds and let them go crazy but I think what I'm gonna do because it's a really good um, full sun spot is instead start my hollyhocks there this year uh, and I know they won't get any flowers this year and that's okay but you know Look at them next year, and I'll throw seeds down with them next year and get them so they're an every year thing instead of a every other. And once they start dropping seeds, then it just, then they just do their thing anyway and, you know, basically take over the hollyhock world, which is what I want. And I ordered, do you ever order from Baker's Creek Seeds? Marcy sent me stuff from them last year, and they're like air, an heirloom seed place, and so, you know, harder stuff to find, <coughs> rarer stuff to find, that kind of deal, but they just have lovely fun seeds on there, and so I got a thing of... Um, a jet, jet black hollyhocks and it didn't come with like a ton of seeds in the pack so I'm hoping at least a few of them take so that they can kind of spread around a bit but it should be fun I did I'm I'm just putting my seeds in a bag and letting them mix up and be you know no specific order because that's how my brain likes things It'll be beautiful and fun. And uh, I don't know if you know, but the rabbits can eat hollyhocks as a whole. Like, they can eat the stem, they can eat the flower, the leaves. They'll love it. They will love it. Okay. Let's see what we can pull off here. Uh, hi, by the way. I'm Stacy. Listen to me rambling on. Uh, welcome. If you're new here, and thanks for coming back if you're not. 
I really appreciate that you take the time to come watch me ramble on. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please do that? It makes a huge difference for me in the YouTube algorithm and helps other nail addicts find me. I am not a color street stylist. I am just a lover of the product and I seriously am. I love to try off-brand stuff and see you know how it competes because really nothing's really gonna compete but sometimes well my favorite thing to find is overlays that can you know fill the gaps that color streets left us with meaning we don't have colored overlays or white overlays or whatever I know this you guys is like a bit of a pain in the butt kind of situation but I do think it's worth it if the nail is in bad shape yet still sticky because this is still perfectly sticky it's just like it's been a little <laughs> melted to the plastic but they're beautiful I mean they're beautiful you guys that's what I mean they're so pretty and you can tell how fresh they are for being you know 11 years old But you can also tell how sheer they are. And they for sure need a couple layers. At the very least. Okay, so let's get... Oh, I wonder what it would do. Maybe on this one, I'll put fancy pants instead of two layers. Just to see the difference in the look. Because you can sure tell how much it darkened it up over there. Let's do that. Let's do it, you guys, and see what happens. Oh, so anyway, behind. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I get distracted, and I'm like that in normal day-to-day -day life, so I'm sorry. You just have to deal with it. Um, so behind this fence that makes our shady spot... We have all this beautiful, like, this huge rock that's all mossy and, like, a tree stump that's mossy and this zillion, um, hosta garden. Okay, what do you like better? I love this because, man, that color is banging. But both are pretty. And I don't think, like, from a distance that anybody would be able to tell that they're slightly different colors, so... We're just going to leave them, you guys. Um, but it doesn't get that much sun, obviously. It's a really beautiful, mossy space. And we have, like, we have a bunny rabbit. Okay, so we have a bunny rabbit statue for each of our bunnies. That's our thing. Well, really, for all our critters. Tartar has one out there that I got him this spring. Um, that has a little solar light in it so it lights so its eyes light up green at night it's really cute anyway uh, we have Coco and that is our French lot bunny who is the most mellow friendliest boy in all the land and his statue is a lop-eared bunny with his little paws together like he's meditating it is so cute, you guys. So he's out there standing on a little tree stump that's all mossy. And it's just this glorious spot. 
And so that's where we're planting a stilbies. So that was, I think, Marcy's suggestion for my um, very uh, shady spot. And so I got one last year just to try it. And it did lovely. It's like a soft cream colored one. And then this year, today when we went to the nursery, we got one that's called chocolate astilbe and it has like chocolate colored leaves and the kind of feathery flowers they get on them is like a creamy color with pink tips oh my god they're so good you guys so good um and then willow picked one out called bridal veil and it is like an antique white lace kind of look it's beautiful so we'll get those in the ground tomorrow and then we also got our uh, we just do like petunias and pansies and stuff on the deck flower boxes so we got pick that stuff up today and I always like to do my boxes as themes so last year I did a bumblebee box, meaning it was like yellow and black. So I'm doing another bumblebee box this year. Willow did a box, uh, a watermelon themed one that was so cute with like pink and kind of that greeny yellow of the rind and stuff. It really was cute. Um, and then I'm doing a pride box this year. So it'll be a rainbow one. I couldn't find all my rainbow colors in petunias, so I had to get uh, an orange marigold to stand in the orange spot, and then a blue pansy for the blue, but I still think it's going to be awesome. You know, it'll be a little, it'll be okay when I plant it all tomorrow. But like a month from now, oh, it'll be amazing when everything fills in. It'll be a beautiful, luscious rainbow. Um, and then I'm doing one. Uh, Willow picked the third one, and she wanted to do it all in um, burgundy and gold. Oh my gosh! So, and I told her I wanted all in pansies, so she got pansies that are like. Two of the leaves are burgundy and one is gold. And then um, she got ones that are like solid gold. And then some that are like uh, gold and kind of creamy colors and yellows mixed. They're beautiful. I mean, and you can't beat the smell of pansies, can you? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry I got off on a tangent about that. Um, okay, so listen, today was the release of the B set, you guys, talk about a de debacle, but it's literally the same debacle as Earth Day, so, uh, nail friends and I were kind of, um, chatting slash laughing, Marcy had sent me a message with, you know, people on a rant on the Color Street page about, everything's selling out again and and a lot of them on there said these releases aren't supposed to be for the stylists they're for the customers so they should be the one shopping I mean I don't know I don't know anymore you guys I just don't know anymore but there was this lady on there that I'm glad I can't reach through the computer and smack people some days, you guys. She was like, I choose to see this as the positive, and this is about teaching our customers to be, spelling it B-E-E, -E, more diligent and check that website every day and that it's not on us to tell them what's going to be there they need to learn to be diligent oh, you guys I about came off my rocker I'm like listen lady I'm not going to be diligent and check that website every single day 
for the random whatever that Color Street may release. You know, people have jobs in case they're unaware. Anyways, I said, if that's going to be the case, like if they're taking it out of the stylist's hands, then take it out of the stylist's hands. You just do it. That means that our sets drop down to, you know, six to eight dollars a set. Color Street can do whatever they want. They're no longer paying any, you know, commissions and what have you. I mean, if that's, if they're going to take it out of the stylist's hands, then, then get to getting then you fully take it out of their hands and let us see the price drops because that would bring, you know, the remover would easily come down to eight, nine dollars. Like the sets would run, you know, six to eight dollars like they do for Encoco for the rest of the world. You know, if you're gonna, if you want to sell to the customers off your website and leave the stylus out of it, then you freaking leave them out of it you know, make up your mind. You don't get to be an MLM that counts on your stylist and be one that doesn't, you know, that leaves your stylist out of the loop. Like, you get to be one or the other. Fa, fa, make up your freaking mind, buddy. <sighs> Sorry. Rand on, ladies. Um, okay, also this week, was the release of I'm only putting my top coat right now on this guy because I feel like it needs it like I'm still kind of half undecided I kind of feel like I should throw a fancy pants over it because it's pretty like those are so thin I feel like the two layers of it are only about equal to one layer of other stuff I think I'm going to, just to be safe. Even though I'll wear gloves and stuff tomorrow, you guys, I don't want to wreck my nails. They're so good right now. Um, okay, also this week was the release of those little, that little bundle situation, the deluxe bundle, where you got, like, the remover lotion. You got all the stuff, plus the little cute polka dot bag, um, and a set of Tokyo lights. Uh, and things were limited, but quite honestly, those went way longer than I thought they would. Way longer than I thought they would. I actually thought the stylus would be all over those deluxe bundles because that's a, a pretty good deal and easy way to get stuff to like, you know, give out for prizes like the files and I mean, sell your Tokyo lights and stuff. And I did order a bundle and I am going to do, when mine gets here, it says on Monday, um, I'm going to hop on a live in the Sassy Crew and uh, try everything out. I mean, I don't have to try the remover out. I've done that a bunch of times and I do love the remover, you guys. You know that at this point. Um, but I do want to try out the top coat and the lotion I can't wait to smell it same with the oil can't wait to smell it can't wait to feel it you know oh my gosh this is really real I really love these you guys I really love them a lot all right here we go Hopefully everybody has a fantastic weekend. You can look for some, there's those two to compare, one layer, two layer. You can look for some garden videos if you're interested. Those will definitely be loading up over the next day or two. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'll talk to you soon.